Good evening, everybody. It is Friday, and Tyler claims he sees snowflakes. He said all we have to do is look and stare. Oh, I just saw one. Everybody just look and stare. You'll see a snowflake. You got a horse. I thought we might go on a little walk, and I would take the kids to ride their scooters up the road, but no, the wind has arrived, and we must go inside. I'm gonna check for eggs, and then the boys are gonna come put the tarp over the coop out here. I see them. They decided to start laying back here where it's really hard to reach. We're gonna have to cut another door in on that other side. How many do we have, Jonah? Two. Is it snowing where you are? A little bit. Okay, okay. It's been snowing a little bit. Okay. some soup man I, every time I hate like when I clean my stove I just don't want to cook on it for a few days just let it stay looking like that but cook we must I'm just gonna make some vegetable beef soup and I don't even know what kind of vegetables I have yet we're gonna get down there and look and see I know I have some carrots I hope I have some lima beans that's what sometimes we make this soup and we just call it lima bean soup we just put the ground beef tomato soup and lima beans and we're gonna make those frozen pizzas tonight, but it's a perfect soup day out there, so we're switching it up. I decorated this little Valentine's Day hot cocoa area over here, and I just put the lights up here on top. So if I wanna, you know, I have to get another one if I wanna put some lights around the bottom, but I don't really know if I love how the lights look anyway. So I don't know, they look kind of just like they're in just a big mess. Maybe if I take them off of this part and just put them around the bottom, that would be better. I think like I would have to undo the whole thing to get this part off the way I wrapped it on so anyway that didn't turn out looking as cute as I thought it was going to you know what might be better if I just did the lights to go around this middle part and just have this middle part lit up we might try that later ground beef is going let's see what I have down here oh yeah and I'm gonna make some cornbread oh I already preheated the oven look at me doing things I don't even know I did <laughs> have some cans of mixed vegetables. We might just put that in. Okay, Manny's coming to help. You want a snack while we wait? What kind of snack do you want? We have Scooby snacks. We have yogurt pretzels. Do you want one of these? No? That way? He got what he wants. Show us what you picked. What'd you pick, Manny? Yogurt. Okay. Tyler is on a mission to find lima beans. I'm telling y'all, they love lima beans in this soup. They love it. That's why sometimes I just put a bunch of lima beans and that's it. My mama used to make it. I'll have to ask mama why did she only put lima beans sometimes. And maybe it was like just one day that's all she had to put in it was lima beans. And then we started loving it. I don't know. I'll have to ask her. But we loved it when we were kids too with just the lima beans. Sometimes stores have a hard time keeping... Um, canned lima beans in stock like it's always been that way for years and years sometimes i just could not find the can so i had to use frozen i'm gonna go ahead and get the cornbread in the oven while you're continuing to look for that i don't have any more yellow cornmeal y'all we have really started liking um yellow cornmeal instead of white my sister got me that gift basket from the farmer's market for christmas and it had yellow a uh, yellow cornmeal mix in it and so i made that one day and we loved it and now we've just been wanting to use yellow cornmeal i did have some in there but i used all that up so we're gonna have to use white tonight go ahead and organize it like alphabetical order or something while you're down there <laughs> i'm just kidding yeah, help. Yeah, you help. we need to put in the buttermilk we'll put in the buttermilk yep put in the buttermilk there you go pour that one in <laughs> 
Wait, helping. Yeah, you are helping. Sissy's gonna spray down the muffin tin, okay? Wait, helping. Yeah, baby. Making cornbread? Okay. okay, so we put in two family size cans of tomato soup. Putting in a little salt, a little pepper. I'm gonna add in the ground beef and I'm just draining it as I add it in. I drain this can of diced tomatoes. We're just gonna put those in real quick. And I'm gonna drain these cans of mixed vegetables. That's it. We have a big pot of vegetable beef soup over here. Yep, and cornbread. Okay, they've got their popcorn now. Manly has these little puffs. He thinks they're the same popcorns they have. Because <laughs> he can chew these up better, you know. They've already got a movie picked out. Land Before Time. Uh, I can't remember one of the 20 million Land Before Time movies. The lights don't look too bad when it starts getting dark because you can't really see all the, you know, little wire things as much. You just see the lights. See, that's pretty. I mean, kind of, but anyway. Jake made brownies. And he slices them big. I mean, he did some big old brownie slices. Saturday morning I'm making some country French toast so I have three eggs in my bowl I'm gonna put in one cup of milk this is pretty much how I always make my French toast so I'm not sure what's country about it besides I am using Texas toast instead of regular bread or French bread or Pepperidge Farm swirl bread that's what I love to use sometimes the Pepperidge Farm swirl bread especially the pumpkin and the strawberry usually the strawberry comes out this time of year but stores don't have it yet so I put in a cup and a half of milk with three eggs a teaspoon of vanilla and a pinch of salt there we go. we didn't put any sugar in the mix because I'm gonna sprinkle powdered sugar over the top of these when they're done 